Hello, welcome to Adventures in Dolls. Well, our program today is on Crush and Nativity. This tradition began in 1224, so, you know, just a couple years ago, when St. Francis of Assisi staged the first scene in Greccio, Italy, for a Christmas Eve Mass. If you have enjoyed our programs, please do us a favor and like, that's hitting the thumbs up button, and subscribe. Now remember, subscribing, there's no fee. It just means you're helping our ranking with YouTube and it will notify you of our next program. And if you have any comments, leave a comment in the comments section. Mr. Fred Patton, the UFDC Secretary Treasurer, is presenting this program. I really enjoyed it, and I think you will too. The crash began in Naples in the early 1223. The first account of the crash was from St. Francis of Assisi, portrayal of the nativity crash, percipio or crip, of live creatures acting out the event in a cave in the hills of Italy. The reference states that the figures were frozen in time. It was from this portrayal that the crash came into form. The nobles of this period became increasingly aware that Christianity was being established and the dissolving of the pagan worshiping. Artists were being hired to construct statues from marble and other forms to represent the birth of Christ. The artist's work was expensive and only a few figures could be had by most of the nobles of the day. The artists were encouraged to create the figures for the nativities in a smaller form. Thus, the figures were reduced in size that ranged from 9 inches to 16 inches on average, although figures may be found in the 20-inch range. From 1735 to 1860 was the time span of the crash we know today. Many nobles of this day proceeded to carry on the traditions of the elaborate crashes that represented paintings of the famous masters of the day. Kings were noted to have large, expensive crushes on display. It is stated that Spanish King Fernando's crush covered 6,000 square feet and had 5,960 figures depicting everyday life of people within a village and surrounding countryside. The crash began being placed in the hills in the background of the display. Temples were used to portray the look of the display over the stable that was noted in the Christian beliefs. The structural style also gave reference to the Christian triumph over paganism. These displays became known as a theatrical or Neapolitan display. The figure's construction material changed from marble to clay and painted to look like wood. The bodies were a wire armature that resembles a stick figure we drew as kids. These wires were wrapped with hemp to create a more human feeling in the body. The figures could be posed in many positions, thus creating a more natural form. Artists began to sculpt faces with expression, thus creating the first character dolls. Cottage industry was born, and people were hired to dress figures in silk, apply trim that were metal-based, or regional costumes painted and assembled these figures. These figures are very much like China and Parians from the 1860s.
In an antique crèche figures, the Holy Family can be noted by the small hole in the top of the head to mount the halo. These are the only figures of the groups that have these holes. Joseph and Mary both will have downcast eyes to show adoration to the infant child. Mary and Joseph usually have exposed feet below their garment with sandals. The angels have feet that are generally at an angle to indicate flying. No holes in the feet or nails because they were not designed to stand but fly. If an angel is found with sandals, it is usually used as the guardian angel standing over the holy family. The guardian angel will have nails in the bottom of the feet so that it can be placed in a standing position by the holy family. Angels of the multitude will have their hair that has a windswept look, also to indicate that they are to be displayed in a flying position. The wings of the angels are wooden carved with a nail in the end for pushing them into the hemp of the body or placement. Numerous angels are found without their wings because they are easily separated since these nails were pushed into the body. Shepherds are the common people of the time, very simply dressed, slightly poor look due to their simple garments. Shepherds had a natural look or a tan skin tone due to being in the sun and taking care of the sheep. Many varieties of shepherds are found. One of the noted shepherds found in a creche is the sleeping shepherd. It is noted that he is sleeping and dreaming of the birth of the infant child. The legend has it that if he is in the crash dream of a crash, it should not be awakened for causing the dream to vanish and dissolve the crest. The Magi represents people of the East or Orient. They are highly clothed of rich material with gold threads and trim. Many nobles of the day would have the artist create a figure that depicted themselves for the crash, and on many occasions their likeness is found in the Magi group. Townspeople or villagers are shown in everyday life of the village. They are clothed in traditional or contemporary clothing of the day. Many regional costumes are included in the dress of the villagers. One may find a wide variety of costumes from common dress to noble dress of the time. Vegetables and fruit were important and thus are found in most crèches. The gourd is found on the neck of many figures. These gourds are developed from the lack of iodine in the body. They are always pointed out from an antique crèche owner to show the health conditions of the time were poor. Animals always appear in the crash scenes. There is a wide range of animals used from rabbits, pigs, chickens, turkeys, cows, donkeys, deer, dogs, cats, goats, and sheep. With the Magi, we see exotic animals, which include camels, elephants, horses, exotic birds, and monkeys. Most animals for a crash will cost as much as a figure to add to the display. As stated, the crash figures range in size from 6 inches to 16 inches, were all used within the same display. The larger figures were placed in the front of the scene and sizes decreasing as they move back to the back or hill region where it is usually found the Holy Family, Magi, and the Angels. The same is true with the Angels. The smaller one placed high with the larger ones closer to the scene. 
the largest angels are placed hovering over the village people, keeping the scale in size for placement. Most commercial nativities of today, one finds all figures of the same scale or size, thus creating the crash on the same surface level. Many crash may be found today if one searches for them. They will be found in various conditions, and thus one should take all things into consideration upon purchasing figures. If one desires, there are a few Crèche or Precipio companies in Italy that are still making figures as of the earlier years. These Crèche pieces may be purchased in a variety of sizes, just as the original figures. Please note, no two are alike still today and all are hand created. The newly formed figures generally range in price range from $300 to $1,500 a piece versus the antiques that began at a price of $1,000. Whether you have interest in purchasing a crest piece for your own display or just enjoy viewing them, they are magnificent works of art. Now we're going to look at Nativities for Enjoyment. This is a Fontanini a nativity set that I own. These figures are 12 inches tall, and I have several figures that are kept in my display. Here we are represented with the shepherds, the magi, and the holy family in this scene, plus the uh, multitude of angels above this. This is another scene depicting the same crash that you just saw, the Fontanini, and you see a, a different placement that I have placed these in, followed by a still yet another year's display of the Fontanini scene at my home. This is a Santos grouping of characters that belong to a Region 12 member that I uh, was able to become acquainted with through our Zoom programs last year, and she sent me the photos of her display that so I could share them within this uh, program. This display is from the Art Institute of Chicago. I found this very interesting. This display is about 12 feet tall, just the cabinet, and roughly about 20 feet wide at the back of the cabinet. The condition of the figures it states in the research, uh, they are deteriorating. They prefer to keep this in dark as much as possible. So they have built a wall that sits in front of this during the normal part of the year and only reveal it for the month from Thanksgiving through the end of the year. But they do not display it every year. So you would have to check with the uh, Institute Museum of Chicago to see if it is on display when you're going to go. Uh, this is the Metropolitan Museum uh, in New York's this crash display, they call it uh, the angel tree, is extremely large. The tree is 20 feet tall, and roughly guessing, I'm thinking it is at least 24 by 24 feet square. It's uh, very large. I have viewed it three times. I am fascinated with this nativity. The nativity doesn't show as much city life or village life. It shows more of the country life where they are working the fields and out in the country's type scene. The tree is very impressive with all the angels suspended on rods. As you can see, this one here, the rods go into the trunk of the tree and keep the angels spread out. It's a quite interesting display if you were ever in uh, New York from Thanksgiving until right after the first of the year. You can also go on their website. They have all of the figurines that are in this or all the crash figures. They have them individually photographed so you can see each one. I, this crash is from a museum in New York. I have forgotten which museum it is, but it is depicting the levels of the country scene, the hills and the mountains. I think it's quite an elaborate display. And as you can see from this, the larger figures are in the front and we scale back to the uh, Holy Family and the Magi that are the smaller 
giving you the three-dimensional. Again, another display of, uh, do you see where you get the feeling it's an old master's work of art? It's got that painting technique. This is also another display in a museum. This is a modern creche uh, today that you could buy from Italy, from the manufacturers there. It's still representing the same aspects, the village scene. You see the village people in this. This is quite smaller scene. Uh, probably these village pe people are more, I'm thinking seven, eight inch scale. This is the Carnegie Museum of Art in Pittsburgh's uh, crash display. It's quite elaborate and they have tied it into the uh, walls of the museum in their display to use it as their prop or background to create that same uh, world, old world event that was talked about that the nobles created. This display is in Lafayette, Louisiana, and I had the privilege to see this display in 2018. Uh, it was fascinating to me, uh, quite large, had a lot of depth. We are looking now straight into the back of the middle scene. You see the Magi in the back. You see the Holy Family back there, and then you have the townspeople around. The Magi and the Holy Family were the smaller sets of this scene and as they came forward toward the front it becomes quite large uh, in the figures. The depth of this case is six feet. It's about 10 feet tall and probably about 12 feet wide. Uh, two uh, gentlemen collected these figures in the 70s and 80 by traveling to uh, Italy and buying these. They are antique pieces they would go and purchase and got a, a worked a arrangement with the people there to buy these out of the uh, individual crest pieces and brought them back to the United States and had it in their home for years on display uh, they sold their larger home and moved to a smaller home they did not have a place to display this so they had the local church put it on display and it's kept there in uh, as a museum Piece, and it is quite interesting. This is a closer up over to the left side. This is the Market Street where the villagers are conducting uh, business and uh, selling of wares and things of this nature. You see the animals down in the front of this fresh display. Uh, this is the display from the Carmel Doll Shop in California. It is quite an elaborate display and I do believe uh, from hearing um, the production of this, that the individual that owns this has been collecting the crash pieces for a number of years to create this display. And again, you see it's a, a pretty much the same size figures. They are depicted more on the same level with the Holy Family still in the center at the back at the highest level. Here's another common scene, the meat market, uh, the, veg the vendors selling their wares. Uh, again, this is the noble inn. You see there the uh, carriage, uh, the noble carriage being carried by uh, the servants. So it is quite an elaborate display. This is again uh, one of the newer crash figures that you could um, purchase from Italy. I've been interested in buying a crash that had all the clothing. Uh, and not the form of the plastic that I have in the Fontanini, but that really have the clothes that fascinates me. I've talked in detail with the people in Italy from two different shops that make these. Um, every figure may be placed differently. They do, each figure has a spike in the bottom of their shoes. The animals have two spikes somewhere in the uh, hoofs of the animal, and they stick down, and the base is kind of like uh, a star foam. So when you stick it in the base, then they stay, stay in place, but you can take them to a part and wrap them up to store each year. This is a scene of a, like an alley or uh, of a crash where you see that they are 
about their daily work. You see the Magi's or nobles uh, headgear there in the center. I'm believing it's the three Magi's because the Holy Family is here. But this is like a village scene. You have your musicians in the background. Again, a portrayal from the New Haven Knights of Columbus building. Uh, this is their crash that they put on display there. This was a crash that was on display, and it is a modern, new, from Italy crash scene. This was in a uh, department store in New York, a clothing store in New York. When I visited there, I did take a picture of it. I deleted somehow the picture. Well, I lost my whole file from last year when I started this, and I haven't been able to locate the photo I took of this crash in New York. So I found this on the web and put it here, and that's why you see this dream time uh, crisscrossing here is because it is from the web, and they're wanting their name on there that it, they did take it. I didn't. But I do remember seeing this and thought it was very lovely uh, with the draping behind it, thus creating a very nice window display. This is from St. Mark's in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, again, it is over at the side of the building, and it is sweeping up to create the crash uh, in the church there. And this is the crash that we have on display in the White House in Washington, D.C. It's a very elaborate. The figurines are all approximately the same scale. Uh, this is put up by volunteers every year. Uh, it does, I have seen other photos of it, and the figures are a little different represented from one photo to the next. Uh, so it takes the same form, but it doesn't mean the figures all get right back in the same place. And this was the scene that from the uh, people in um, Italy that I had discussed with purchasing. Uh, this whole component would be $12,000 with shipping. And so we discussed the building and we've discussed everything in the Heavenly Beings. That's quite a bit for me to take on. And you can see this background on this side are additional pieces, but the basic crest starts right along this line and runs right over to here to go up. The problem that I quickly realized that would be against me is this is 120 inches wide. So 12 feet is 144 inches. 10 feet is 120 inches. So you got to have 12 feet of free space to display this. It is also 80 inches high. So it's really out of size for me to be able to display this in my home. So I haven't ventured there, but I think in time I will venture on a smaller, smaller scale, do the Holy Family, uh, several angels, the uh, magi, a few shepherds, and a few townspeople. And I would like to have uh, the backdrops of either the house or the columns to go with it. But time will tell. Presently, I work with a 12-inch Fontanini, and it gets harder and harder every year to put it up because it takes a large space to display it. And again, I want to close this program and thank you for uh, inviting me to share my love of these crash figures, uh, the uh, nativity. To me, they are miniature works of art. They are also, to me, dolls in every form, from the villagers to the magi to the angels. They all represent dolls to me because of the clothing and the way the construction of the body with the wire and the hemp. So I find them quite fascinating and would love to be able to put on a huge display like this. But you have to have room, and that's something I have a limitation of. So I wish you all happy holidays, and I hope you've enjoyed this program. Hello, Karen Allen here. We hope you enjoyed the program. Send us your comments. And remember to like and subscribe below. Become a member of the United Federation of Dog Clubs today. Go to the website, fill out the membership form, and be sure to tell them Karen sent you.